<laughs> well, um, we're almost almost finished with quarantine. Only a few more days to go. I think for probably a lot of people, when you're in some sort of lockdown situation, you obviously have a lot of time to think. And for me, being in Korea right now, it's very bittersweet. Um, my very first dog meat farm about two years ago. I ended up adopting one of the dogs, a little chihuahua, named I named him Pino. When I came, first came to this farm, when we were hoping to, to get this place shut down, he really stole my heart and it, and it you know, broke me to leave him behind. So this is Pino. Every time I come up to his cage, he bounces forward and still wants and seeks that attention. So I think he naturally knows that um, it's something that he's missing and something that he really wants. Just made the decision that I think he needs to come home with me. He's got a great little personality hiding in there that he's just excited to, to show and experience the world. It's not the same hotel that we normally stay at, but it, it resembles it quite a bit. So it makes me think of those first few nights when I brought him from the farm to the hotel and um, really started to get to know him one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> He's very, very special to me and a big part of um, my passion for this campaign and for these rescues. I know for me, one thing that still gets me up every morning and um, even, even here in this room is knowing that I can still make a difference and I can still help the animals who are uh, being farmed for really horrific reasons. and and all animals for that matter. But I did just want to share that, you know, he's a big part of my passion for this campaign and for these rescues. And I will always think of him when I'm here.